coming up on KD Tech today. Maintenance on HPNV laptop. Original thermal temps were running at 95 degrees Celsius. Watch how I get this laptop down with basic maintenance and new application on thermal paste. Coming up after this. Today I will be looking at cleaning up my old HP NV laptop. The laptop has an Intel i7 core processor. Unfortunate attempts on this one because of the age and dust buildup are running up to, towards 90 degrees, which may lead to instability in the laptop and also thermal throttling of the CPU, leading to reduced performance. As can be seen in the in video, the laptop is very mucky. It's, un it's unloved, but I still like it, it's my daily driver laptop for entertainment. Join me as I clean up this laptop and give it a new bill of health by cleaning out the coolers and reapplying thermal compound. Here you can see me using a standard computer screen and case cleaner, applying it liberally on all the surfaces. It's fantastic stuff, I highly recommend it. Now, using an anti-static cloth, I'm wiping down all the surfaces, making sure the power is off. Some areas are provide, proving hard to reach and hard to remove, purely and simply due to the, the build-up of dirt and grime. A second application on the main keyboard section is needed as there was a lot of grime buildup. Bit of elbow grease and you can see it's starting to clean up. Just watch how the trackpad goes from mucky to clean in a few simple wipes. Look at that, nice and clean. Being careful to wipe over all the keyboard and keys so as not to break any. Cleaning all around the edges, removing any dirt, any bits, any dirt and grime. The speaker bar gets a wipe. And now onto the screen making sure I'm holding it from the back to make sure I don't put any undue stress or pressure in the wrong spot. Look at the difference that makes already. You can see the screen is absolutely pristine again. I'm just going to give the computer a quick blast over with a bit of compressed air, just to remove any, any dirt and dust debris. Now on to cleaning the lid. The lid gets the exact same treatment using the same screen cleaning solution. And again, applying a very liberal coating. Using the same cloth, giving it a very good wipe. You can almost immediately see the effects it's having on it. Removing any other little bits and pieces. giving all around the edges a good wipe. A few hard built up little areas of grime, especially around the HP logo, make that nice and shiny. There you go, there you, go you see? A couple of minutes, it looks almost just like new. After removing the under tray, the optical drive and the hard drive, I am now ready to access the cooler and the cooler pipes. Here you can see me using a small screwdriver to carefully loosen off both the CPU and the GPU heat pipe. Making sure to remove this, loosen the screws in a cross-like pattern.
Now removing the cooling fan's power connector. Gently giving that a wiggle. And now using a spudger, I am gently prying up the CPU cooled block and now the GPU cooled block. And now carefully, carefully lifting it out of place. Look at the dirt build up in there. That's gonna get a kick, that's gonna get a shot of compressed air on it. The next thing that, I'll be, that I will be removing will be the fan, in, the cooling fan itself. After eight years without a clean, it's probably going to need some, some dusting. Also, using it with the compressed air just to make sure I get rid of any loose, any loose bits of the wood. IPA, I'm going to apply a small amount to a cloth, and I'm now going to carefully wipe both the die on both the GPU and the CPU, making sure not to put down too much pressure on it because you could end up cracking the, cracking the dies. course using an anti-static cloth. Or also using some IPA on both the heat spreaders and the heat pipe pads, ensuring they are both clean and ready to accept the new thermal compound. And now just giving them a final dry down, as well as a last minute blow of air just to remove any other bits of debris. I'll be using some thermal grease number HY510. Link for where to buy this will be in the description below. Applying a liberal, a liberal amount to both CPU, GPU. Apply a last minute dusting of air using my air duster. I will now begin to reassemble the laptop, starting with the heat spreaders first and the heat pipes.
using again a small screwdriver to tighten down the blocks, again using a cross-like cross fashion. This ensures even pressure when tightening up on the CPU, so as to remove the risk of cracking the dock. And now reassembly is just the reverse, or, reverse order of this assembly. Starting with the fan, its three screws and its power connector. Then the under tray. Then reinserting the hard drive, connecting all the wires back up. powering on. reset if the CMOS battery was removed. In this case it was, so I had the, error, had the message on screen to reset the CMOS. And as you can see, it, the laptop now posts up against the HP logo. And then eventually to the Windows desktop login screen. and clean out of both thermal paste and get and remove all the dust, the laptop now sits at a steady and comfortable 54 to 60 degrees Celsius. This means I get full turbo clock on the CPU and reduce the risk of thermal throttling. Clock on the CPU and reduce the risk of thermal throttling. Thank you for watching the tutorial on me refurbishing my old HP Envy laptop. It's now had new thermal compound, reading steady and nice comfortable temperatures at 45 to 60 degrees Celsius. It's no longer thermal throttling. If you've liked this video, you know what to do, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, you can, you can hit the dislike button. No harm, no foul. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon for new uploads and also join me on my Patreon page. If you'd like to see any of my other videos, please check out the link in the top corner of this video.